KBDs. Welcome back for another video. So I'm back with another faux lock video. If you remember, I did the faux locks 12 inches a few months back and I wanted to see how short I can go without, you know, because I usually like a little length. I usually like it to touch my shoulders. I don't know about this one, but let's get into the details. Shout out to Toya Tress for sponsoring this video. Um, so they sent me over the 10 inch. 10 inches you guys like I'm super duper nervous but they sent me over the 10 inch 1b30 so this is the color 1b30 I received seven packs and let's see how many two four six eight ten um and I received seven packs so 70 and that's plenty to do a full of a head full of butterfly locks whether you're doing crochet or individual okay and then i also received my standard crochet hook and then a really really tiny one i don't even know what this one is for but yeah i did receive it okay and i also received a thank you note from tell your chest okay so so let's get into the braiding pattern because I do want to talk about that very quickly before I get into the video. I did see this on, I think her name, uh, Beauty Can Braid. Um, so she did the two individual and then cornrows in the back. So I did that throughout the front of, front of my head. So it's one row I have two, the longer rows I have three, and then two and then three. Um, my, my hairline is weirdly shaped so it's not like perfectly even but you get the gist of what I was doing. In the back I have just basic cornrows okay okay guys so I've already done most of the back super easy super fast I did leave a section out right here so I can show you guys how I do it and how easy it is so I'm going to go ahead and insert my latch hook I don't go under the braid I kind of just go um on top of the braid anywhere uh put on my piece let me make sure the hardest thing honestly is doing it with these nails okay it's already on close my latch hook pull it through now you don't want to go all the way through because it is um distressed i mean butterfly so you don't want to deal with the headache of pulling it all the way through. Just kind of pull it through a little bit. Take the bottom, the bottom of your latch. I mean the bottom of your lock. Place it onto the latch and close it. And then just pull it through the hole. Now I've seen ladies kind of open the hole and kind of pull it through like that. But I like to use the latch as much as possible because I feel like it's easier. So there you go. Super duper simple. You don't want these to be too close together, so I do a finger width apart, put my latch hook in, close it, pull it through, but not all the way through. Piece of the lock on and through that hole again. So some of them will be easy and some of them won't. I'm going to just be honest with you guys. Thankfully, those two went on easily. these in the front because I feel like it will um, look better or mimic um, individuals so I'm gonna just gonna do it just like I did the back but I'm gonna try my best to place it on the actual square if that makes sense so I'm trying to keep it in the center of the square so it'll look or it will mimic uh, individuals okay like so okay and then I'm going to do the same thing right here. Try my best to get it on that square and then just pull it through. So I'm going to do that basically for the front of my head. And then I'll be done. Okay, so I have my locks on. Now if you want to, um, you could place one right in the center where the braid, um, the sections connect. But I think for now, I'm okay. Now, if I, I want to go back in and um, place one there, I will. But right now, I just want to see how it looks with just um, 
the locks on the squares. the finished results I think it came out cute I was a little nervous about the 10 inch but I think this is the shortest that I would probably go like I wouldn't go eight inches like this is the absolute shortest that I would go with locks with twists I don't know about braids but I'm having issues with this part right here so I want to show you guys how to fix it easy only thing you have to do is take a few pieces from the other side to kind of make it look a little better and you don't have to deal with that deep and you don't have to deal with that deep like this right here unless you want to of course it's completely up to you but I don't like for me I don't like it like straight back I kind of like pull these two over to the side I did my edges and this is a look this is definitely a look so I will leave everything in the description box for you guys. This style, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. I will leave all Tell Your Trust information down below. Link to the hair, uh, all of that good stuff. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.